running in my head A million times I woke up in an empty bed I should probably thank my daddy Cause he saw that I was mad In fact, he kept me from taking All the money that you had Ain't pointing no fingers, ain't saying no names The only thing I say is love's to blame Texas Country Songs of the Week. Before we get into the number one song, you just heard there some some Jade Marie Patek. I, don't know if, I never know if I say it. Was it Patek? Patek? But you know what? She can correct me if she wants to. She's on the phone. Jade Marie! Hey! How's it going? I'm good. I'm good. It's so cool to talk to you, finally. I know, right? Oh, man. I'm excited. I love your energy, too. You're, you're like waking me up. Oh, awesome! Thank you. I, you know, I, say, I hear that a lot. I, I must be different than, uh, than other country DJs because they're like, "Dude, you're so on all the time." I'm like, "Hey, it's coffee, yeah. man. It's good for I love you." Love it. Um, but uh, yeah, so that song, um, "Loves to Blame," easily one of my top ten favorite songs of 2019. I mean, I just jam that song all the time. Oh, thank you so much. It's, yeah, that's pretty fun. Yeah, it's a yeah. good time making it. <laughs> So, so again, uh, Jade Marie, you're going to be in town Thursday here in Uvalde County in Concan, to be specific, at Joe Jimmy's uh, for Rio Frio Fest. Now, real quick, since we just played the track, uh, give us a little backstory on, on Loves to Blame, on, on how that song came about. Oh, yeah, absolutely. So, um, true story, kind of. I may have embellished a couple of things, but <laughs> uh, most of it is a true story. It's about dodging a bullet. Uh, you know, I was engaged, and the guy fell back in love with one of his exes, and um, so yeah, a lot of crazy things went down, but it was one of those where you, like, and obviously that never, that did not, you know, hinder me in any way, went on, and now I'm, I am where I am, so in a way, like, I can thank him for it, but it's just one of those things you can look back and laugh on, and like, you know, when you're dumb and in love, like, that's kind of where the whole love to blame thing came from, and so I thought it'd be... Something funny everyone can kind of look back on and laugh at, although it was kind of sad at the time. Uh, it's part of life, and you move on, and you just, at the end of the day, always, you know, put your happiness first. 
Well, I got to tell you what, in, in some ways, I'm always jealous of you guys, you songwriters, because you can take what, you know, what for the rest of us is a tragedy and a wound that sometimes never heals. And you can turn it into something cool, like a really great song, you know, that, uh, you know, that you can just share with other people or maybe even make a little bit of money off of. So kudos to you for taking, you know, lemons and turning them into lemonade. <laughs> oh, well, thank you. Yeah, well, that's, that's kind of my goal. I just want to make sure, I can, you know, that whoever listens to it can relate or they can feel better because they've listened to it. Like, that's what's important to me, so I appreciate it. Well, right on. Now, uh, you, now from what I understand, you won female, New Female Vocalist of the Year, right, at the TRRMA Awards, is that correct? Yeah, I did. That was so cool. Yeah, and I, we briefly spoke out there at the awards, and that was a lot of fun. I, I'm assuming you're going to be back again this year, or? Heck yeah, I'll be there. I can't wait. I'm so excited. You'll be there, right? I'll be there for sure, yeah, yeah. Awesome. We're going to have a good time. Yeah, I love it. It's great, great place to kind of put faces to names and, and, you know, some good networking going on, too. So, and, you know, and for you guys to, to win must be astounding. Right. So what was that honor like for you? Well, I didn't really expect it, for one. So it was really funny. I was just kind of sitting there and, you know, you're, you're always hoping for the best, right? Mm-hmm. And so but I remember the previous year, I, I didn't, I was nominated for the same thing and didn't, and didn't win. And so... Like, that's whenever all my friends and family were there. <laughs> it was oh. past year. None of them were there. It was just me hanging out. I had my best friend's parents in town, and so they were watching um, in the upstairs part portion of the hall. And uh, so, I, you know, cause I was like, whatever, you know, it was just fun. I just love being there. Like, kind of like you said, I love to network with everyone, get to see everyone. And so when they called my name, I was like, uh, said a cuss word, like, oh, hey, <laughs> <laughs> that's crazy, awesome. So... I didn't really have anything prepared of what I was going to say, and, but I got up and just spoke from the heart, really, you know, I just, I probably, you know, rambled on, which is what I always do whenever I'm, like, nervous or surprised, but it was, it was so cool, because I happened to be sitting right behind Randy and Wade, so that was kind of one of those moments where they're yeah. like, oh, who's this? So, you know, that was, that was a cool, cool moment for me, for sure, and I'm, oh, my, my family was kind of bummed that they didn't get to be there, but I, you know, went and, like, brought them like the trophy and stuff like the next weekend when I got to see him so it was all it was special for all of us just funny that they happened to not be there but yeah it was it was a blast yeah, well yeah that's an interesting story well you know hey that's all on them all right that's all on them <laughs> yeah well I totally understand you know they gotta work they gotta make money so you know now, how that goes now you've been doing this music thing for a while you know you do some country kind of Americana you're a little bit of everything not just you know I, I don't I don't think it's fair to kind of peg you into into one specific genre but let's go ahead and talk for those who who are absolutely new to Jade Marie um well, you know give us your give us the quick bio the, the rundown sure so I uh had a grandpa that toured Texas playing polka music so I always had uh music in my blood since day one was never never shy um started playing guitar when I was about 13 and, uh, you know, started playing shows right out of high school. So I've been at it for a very long time and started uh, being comfortable, I guess, enough with writing my, uh, well, writing music, but then also sharing it with other people. Like, you know, everyone's their biggest critic. So it took me a while and um, I started, you know, kept playing my originals for a long time, but finally got into uh, radio, which was kind of a dream come true didn't think that I would ever get to do that but I have awesome parents and they uh supported me you know with my first single and that's what really got me out there meeting all y'all and and so it's been a blessing ever since I just I love doing it it's it's my passion it's uh what I've felt like I was born to do so I love it and I've been doing it ever since well, man, I mean, you've come a long way already, and I'm sure that you've got, you know, further to go. Again, you mentioned, like, Randy and Wade earlier at the at the awards ceremony. I'm sure you've, at this point, already shared the stage with many really cool uh, Texas country artists and, and even, you know, outside of Texas. Uh, what are some of the highlights so far? Oh, yeah, I definitely have. So I've opened for some really cool people. I have, like, you know, like, like Wade Bowen, Ray Wiley Hubbard, and then I've played some really cool festivals with a bunch of people, so... You know, I was on the same bill as, like, Co Wetzel, and, or, like, playing on the same day as them. So, Flatland Co., Whiskey Myers, uh, and so just getting to be around all those guys. I played with I played with Shane Smith and the Saints a couple of times. Um, so, yeah, it's, it's been a surreal experience. Just I always just love them from afar. And so, getting to be, like, right in the middle of it with them has been amazing. 
So what are you striving for? Like, um, is there a thing that you're kind of shooting for? You're like, hey, when I get this, I've made it. Or is it just kind of, hey, man, I'm enjoying it while I got it. What, what, I'm having a good time. And, you know, uh, what, I guess what's your overall goal in, in this whole thing? So I've been taking it kind of one step at a time, like seeing where I'm at and like, okay, well, you know, um, this is the next step. This is where I want to be when I get there. You know, so I have been always kind of searching for that next step for sure. I think ultimately if I can be on a level that is, you know, Randy and Wade and just playing music and, and being one of those that the, the well-respected songwriters of a generation, I think that's, that would be the ultimate goal for sure. Now, now, let's say you get to a Randy Wade, you know, kind of status, and then Nashville comes knocking on your door and, you know, offers you a sweet deal and, and wants to make you sound like a, a pop country, you know, queen like Carrie Underwood. Is that something you'd feel comfortable with, or do you have your thing where you're like, hey, you know what, I'm going to do me, and uh, or are you open to, you know, kind of tweaking what you do? I know that's kind of a, a probably a sensitive question, but uh, do you ever think about that kind of thing? Like, you know, what what, what some people might call selling out. For sure, no, I, yeah, I, I'm very, I'm probably overly authentic. Like, I'm just, I'm me, and I'm, it's really hard for me to be anything but that. So, mm-hmm. if they come knocking, awesome. They must <laughs> like something that they that they hear. Um, if there's something they'd want to tweak here and there, I guess it really would depend on what they're trying to tweak, you know? Right, because right. At the end of the day, it's a business on their end, so I totally understand that. You know, I wouldn't pass up any opportunities um, unless they were literally trying to completely change me, you know, 180. So I think that would be a conversation uh, that I would have to have, but again, I think it'd be very hard for anyone to change me because I'm almost stubbornly exactly who I am and that's hard to change so <laughs> well, you, well you know it's international what women's month you know and we just had um, international women's day recently of course you are uh, a female artist and, and already pretty accomplished um, you know um, it would be remiss for me to you know not ask this but uh, what's it like? I mean, do you have an opinion on you know that female you know musicianship versus male is there some issues that you have to deal with or do you, do you want to you know what I mean do you have any kind of thoughts on women in music and how it's evolved or got you know better or worse over the years i think that it's definitely tougher for us and i know that's kind of the consensus that everyone agrees Mm -hmm. definitely a lot harder for us for to be um to be booked at certain venues or uh you know played on certain stations or just whatever it is i know it's a lot tougher just because you know it's at the end of the day it's what the audience wants to hear and so but in saying that, I think that the conversation has changed over the last few years, and it's continually improving because the conversation has started, and a lot of people are, you know, banding together or just getting the awareness out there that there are some really good female songwriters and female artists that are worth listening to, and uh, the ones who respect those aspects of, you know, songwriting, performing, singing, all those things. I think, you know, that that audience is growing and, and their voices are being heard and it's slowly improving. So I have no, I have no complaints. Yes, it is tough at the end of the day, but I love a challenge. So, Oh, it seems like you got a pretty good head on your shoulder about the whole thing. So, so very cool. Yeah. Well, well, again, we love what you do. Again, we're talking to Jade Marie here. Uh, she's going to be in town Thursday at Rio Frio Fest. Uh, Joe Jimmy's, which is out there uh, at Neil's Lodges in beautiful Con Can, Texas, Uvalde County. So, when you come out to Southwest Texas, I know you what you're from Shiner. You spend most of your time in what North Austin, from what I understand. But when you get out here to this neck of the woods, do you do you get on the Frio River? Do you do you check out our, our camping options? Uh, have you been to Uvalde County and spent any kind of prolonged time here? Oh, yeah. We used to go to the Frio every year since I was, like, six years old. Mm. Um, So I love that area. I love that you can unplug and you can see more stars at night than you can probably see, you know, anywhere else from where I've lived. (laughs) And so I I just love the peacefulness. It's such an awesome getaway. And you, I definitely get in the river. It's my favorite thing to do. I mean, I live in New Braunfels now. I I think think it's just kind of in me. I have to live near a river, so... Um, Frio is one of my favorites ever, so I'm so happy I get to come back. Um, I think I'm even making another trip later on this summer, you know, with friends, so I'm super stoked. Uh, I just love being at the Frio, so... One of the things I always find interesting when I talk to, you know, you, especially Texas country artists, is that, you know, Texas, I mean, we're the size of several states. So you can do a Texas tour, and, I mean, you may as well be touring, you know what I mean, the West Coast, East Coast, or anything. Because, you know, Texas has 
urban areas. We've got, you know, um, we've got small towns, big towns. You know, I mean, it, it's so vastly different. Do you really enjoy touring Texas? And uh, what are some of the hot spots you really enjoy? Oh, yeah, I love touring Texas. I, when I first got to my first radio tour, I think, is where I finally got to see different parts of Texas I've, I've never been to. Mm-hmm. So I, I love it. I mean, from Amarillo all the way down to, like, Brownsville, like, it's it's so cool. And how different everything is. It's yeah. mind-blowing. Um, of course, um, I love, like, the areas where I grew up, so I love playing around there. But um, just getting to play, like, you know, Dallas-Fort Worth, and then obviously, like, the Hill Country area, like, I think that's just, it just really broadened my horizons out there in West Texas is cool. I love being out there, like in the you know Lubbock and uh, San Angelo areas. It's uh, East Texas is awesome because you've got like this whole like almost Louisiana feel because yeah. you're getting really close to that. And yeah, I mean, I think you can't go wrong anywhere you go. It's every every area of Texas is different, so in, in its own awesome way. We're right on again. We're talking to Jade Marie Patek. She's uh, going to be in town. Are you doing an early show Thursday? So I'm doing, yes, uh, Joe Jimmy's is kind of early. It'll be 3 to 4, but I'm not also sticking around because I'll be doing the National Anthem in the evening. So. Right on, okay. On well, the big stage. Everybody go see Jade Marie. It's going to be, again, Thursday at uh, Joe Jimmy's Rio Frio Fest 2020 in Concan. Uh, now, we've got uh, your new single. Uh, it's called Soul Shine. You want to go ahead and give us a little info on this before we get this on the radio and let you go? For sure, yeah. this is uh, So I did some soul sessions, and it was my uh, top favorite song that I love to cover, and... Um, went in the studio and kind of made this song mine. It's Almond Brothers tune, but it just makes me really happy when I hear it. And so I hope that this is, uh, so once y'all hear it, that it also puts you in a good mood too. Well, right on. Well, we, hopefully we'll hear it. Oh, you know what? Let's go and talk before we play it on. Go ahead and tell us. What can we expect at the show Thursday? Are you, It's going to be kind of an unplugged, intimate thing? You're going to bring the band? I'm going to bring a couple of guys with me. I'm bringing um, my bass player for sure and um, possibly the lead guitarist. So, It'll we'll still be, I think we'll be stripped down, not necessarily like unplugged, but we'll be the little stripped down version. Uh, we'll be playing a bunch of my, I'll play all the stuff off my EP. I'm going to play a bunch of new songs. I've been doing a lot of writing in, uh, here in Texas and in Nashville, so I'll be playing some new songs, and we'll be playing some of my fun go-to covers like Soul Shine and Bob and McGee. So it'll be a blast. Be sure to come out early if y'all are heading out, and uh, come see me at Joe Jimmy. It's going to be a great time. Everybody find her online, jademariemusic.com. We'll see you Thursday, Rio Frio Fest in Con Can. Uh, here it is. This one's Soul Shine. Jade Marie, thank you so much. We appreciate you. Woo! Thank you. <laughs> A cloudy day When the stars ain't shining bright You feel like you've lost your way When the candlelight that's hope Burns so very far away You gotta let your soul shine Just like my daddy used to say He used to say so
I'm sure better than the rest. 